Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this olive branch. In my previous video, I've done this African daisy. Here I add this olive branch as the greenery in this bouquet. So we can find the harmony between all these different colored green palettes. If you are new here, I'm sharing easy crochet tutorials in my channel. Please subscribe and turn notification. Now let's begin. Here are materials we'll be using. Especially, you can now find all this full PRY milk coating yarn in my Etsy shop. To make one branch, we will work 7 leaves and 2 fruits. Here we will start from the leaf, and we make 7 of them. Here we find green yarn and start with a slip knot. Here is our slip knot, do not count this as a stitch. Then we will chain 27. So this is our first chain, now the second. Then the third. You can now pause here to finish 27 chains. Now we have 27, we'll then find the second stitch from the hook and work one single crochet. If you are a beginner, you can put a marker in this first single crochet. Now we do another single crochet in the next space. Then two half double crochet in the next two spaces. From here, we do 15 double crochet. So we do one double crochet in each space, and we do 15 of them. You can now pause here to finish. Now we finished 15 double crochet and have 7 stitches left. We will first do one half double crochet in each of the next 3 spaces. Then we do 3 single crochet in next 3 spaces, and we will have 1 space left. Here we come to the last stitch, and we will do 3 single crochet in this 1 stitch. Now we move to the other side, and we will repeat. We we'll still do 3 single crochet in the first 3 spaces. After that, we we'll do 3 half double crochet, 15 double crochet. Now we have 4 spaces left. We will do 2 half double crochet and 2 single crochet. Here we come to the end of this round. We do a slip stitch through the first stitch of this round. Now our work should look like this. Now we will continue. Here we will add a piece of craft wear about 30 cm long to support the leaf. Now we chain 1 as a turning chain, do not count as a stitch. Now we do 3 single crochet in the first 3 spaces, so we do 1 single crochet in each space. Remember to put a marker here if you are a beginner. Now the second single crochet. From the next space, we do 20 half double crochet. Then we do 3 single crochet and we will come to the top of the leaf.
Now we come to the top stitch of the leaf. Here we firstly do one single crochet. Then we chain two. Then a slip stitch through the back bump of the first chain. So this is a two chain picot stitch. Then another single crochet still in the current space, which means still in the top stitch of this leaf. From here, we repeat the pattern on the screen to finish the other side. Finally, we still do a slip stitch to close this round and chain 1 to secure the end. Before cut off the yarn, remember to leave a long tail about 20cm long, because we need to wrap the craft wear. So here we finished our first leaf, and we will make 6 more for one branch. From here, we will do our fruit. So we find yellow yarn and start with a double circle. Now we insert the hook and chain 1 as the turning chain. Do not count this chain as a stitch. Now we do 6 single crochet in the circle. So this is our first single crochet. Now the second and the third. Here we got six, and we will close this circle. We pull through the tail, and we find one of the yarn is moving. Now we pull through the moving yarn to close the circle. Finally, we pull through the tail again to further close it. Then we do a slip stitch through the first space to close this round, and chain one to start next round. Do not count this chain as a stitch. At round 2, we first do one single crochet in the first space. Now one increase in the second space, which means we do two single crochet here. So this is the pattern of this round, and we will repeat three times. Here we come to the end of round 2. We still do a slip stitch through the first space to close this round, at round 3, we first do one single crochet in the first space. Then we do an increase in the second space, which means we do two single crochet here. Then we do another single crochet in the third space. So that's the pattern. One single crochet, then two single crochet in one space, which means one increase. Now another single crochet. So you can pause here to finish this round. Round 4 to round 13 are following similar pattern. You can pause here to finish. After finishing round 13, your work should look like this. Now we continue to chain 1 to start round 14. From round 14, we will start to decrease. Now we do 3 single crochet in the first 3 spaces. Now we do one decrease through the next two spaces. So here we combine the next two stitches as one and yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That's one decrease. Now we do six single crochet. After that, we do another decrease through the next two stitches. So we combine the two stitches together as one stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You can pause here to finish another group. Now we have three stitches left. We do three single crochet in these three spaces. Finally, we still do a slip stitch through the first space to close this round and chain 1 to start next round. 
Round 15 and 16 are following a similar pattern. You can pause here to finish. Now our work should look like this. Before moving on, we need to insert the fillings. Then we continue to finish round 17 and round 18. Now we stop here to insert the craft wear. And we will need to fold the craft wear in this way. Now insert. Try to insert the craft wear through some fillings so we can fix it more tight. Here we need to add more fillings and then finish the last round, which is round 19. So we first do one single crochet and then one decrease. We repeat three times. Now we come to the end of last round, we we'll still do a slip stitch through the first space to close this round. And we still chain 1 to secure the end. Leave a long tail about 20cm long and cut off the yarn. Finally, we will move the tail through the 6 stitches of the last round and we move it through the half side stitches that are facing us. Now the second move. Then the third. Here we finish the 6th move, now we pull through the tail to close the circle as tight as we can. Now we apply some glue to the craft wear, and push the craft wear into the fruit a little bit. Finally wrap the craft wear. So this is our fruit, and we need two of them. Finally, we'll assemble everything. Done!